தமிழ் புத்தாண்டு ஆனால் தமிழ்நாட்டில் கொஞ்சம் லாக்கோ லாக்டவுனில் இருக்கிறோம் புத்தாண்டு ஒன்று ஒரு மகத்தான கொண்டாட்டம் தமிழ் கலாச்சாரத்தில் கொண்டாட்டம்னா நாம் ஏதோ ஒன்று செய்யணும்னு தேவையில்லை நாம் நம்ம செய்யலை நம்ம ஆட்ட பாட்டம் எல்லாமே நம்ம நமக்குள்ளே இருக்கிற ஆனந்தம் அன்பு மகிழ்ச்சி உற்சாகம் வெளியப்படு வெளியப்படுத்துறதுக்கு ஒரு கருவி அவ்வளோதான் இந்த வருஷம் இந்த வருடம் நாம் அதிகமாக வெளியப்படுத்த முடியாது வீட்டுக்குள்ளே தான் அப்படி இருந்தாலும் நாம் ஆனந்தமாக உற்சாகமாக அன்பாக இருந்தால் நமக்கு எப்பவுமே கொண்டாட்டம் தானே இந்த ஒரு தமிழ் புத்தாண்டு நமக்கு ஒரு மகத்தான சவால் நம்ம முன்னாடி உட்காந்துருக்குது இது நாம் பொறுப்பாக நடத்தா 
பொறுப்பாக இது நம்ம நடத்தின நடத்தினா நமக்கு இதில் இந்த ஒரு வழி இருக்கு வழி இருக்குது இல்லைன்னா இது ஒரு மகத்தான ஆபத்தாக மாறுறதுக்கு வாய்ப்பு இருக்குது ஆனால் இந்த தமிழ் புத்தாண்டுனால் நீங்கள் எல்லாருமே ஒரு உறுதி எடுக்கணும் நாம் தமிழ்நாட்டில் இந்த வைரஸ் என்ற மகாமாரி நம்ம அழைக்கிற மாதிரி ஒரு சூழ்நிலை பண்ணிக்க வேண்டாம் நாம் பொறுப்பாக இது வெற்றிகரமாக கட்டாயமாக வெளியே வரும் என்ற ஒரு உறுதி நாம் எனக்கு எடுத்துக்கணும் தமிழ் மக்களுக்கு எல்லாமே என்னுடைய வணக்கங்கள் டுடே ஹேப்பன்ஸ் டு பி த தமிழ் நியூ இயர்ஸ் டே ஒன் மே ஒன் டா மெனி நியூ இயர்ஸ் டேஸ் இன் அ இயர் வா திஸ் இஸ் பிகாஸ் different calendars uh, after all the planet is round and it's spinning from where you measure is left to you different cultures started measuring new year from a point which is most significant for them in terms of a new beginning tamil nadu or the tamil culture being among the oldest agricultural cultures on the planet hold 14th of April where there is a certain shift in sun's relationship with the planet and also in the rest of the country which is seen as vaishakhi or baisakhi in different parts of the country because in the north it moves to harvest now but in the south harvest has happened earlier after pongal that is the 14th of January now it is uh, preparation of the land which is considered a very sacred duty so before uh, we touch the land once again we have left it for some time after the harvest untouched now before we once again go and put our plow into the land it is considered a new beginning so this is the new year for the tamil people the telugu new year was ugadi just a few days ago because they go into the land little early because largely karnataka and uh, and uh, andhra pradesh receive southwestern monsoon which starts at the end of may tamil nadu also gets that this part of tamil nadu gets it but the larger part of tamil nadu waits uh, for the northeastern monsoon later on a milder southwestern monsoon because of that their calculations are little different and starts today is the new year's day because this is new agricultural year because agriculture was the basis of lives here because of that the beginning of new agriculture is considered the new year not the december because december january because at that time nothing significant is happening for us in this culture so uh, my heartiest greetings to all the tamil people across the world tamil putton so as a part of that our sound sofisha will perform uh, something that means a lot to the people of tamil nadu
now that uh, the Tamil New Year uh, is over, now we go to Kerala, Puduvarsha Asam Sangal. It is also a New Year in Kerala. So to all the Malayali people across the world, we wish you the best, but these are not the best times. But may you be at your best. Well, we'll have to go to Punjab, Bengal, Orissa. We cannot wish them in their language, we can only say shubhu, shubhu, shubhu <laughs> To every one of you, <coughs> let this, uh, well, kind of dire situation. Still there are a lot of people raising arguments, oh, is this really needed? Let's go out and do what we have to do, let's see what happens. Well, last time when… when there was no air travel, when there was no such a movement of populations as today, last time when it happened in 1918, the Spanish flu killed fifty million people. You want to try once again? No, I think somebody has to stop you. That's what the government is trying to do. That's what governments around the world are trying to do. Those who did not do the lockdown quick enough, unfortunately those nations are suffering immensely. United States has crossed twenty-four thousand fatalities. Well, that's not an inspiration for the rest of the world because uh, a most affluent nation with highest level of infrastructure, if it goes into this mode, what happens to other countries is a very uh, intimidating situation. So, uh, India has been contained but not conquered the virus, we have only contained it. Knowing the nature of these organisms, that they don't have a brain. I'm saying you're in good company. They're probably single-celled or uh, probably a little bit, two, three cells, but no specific brain as such. But they're determined to do what they want to do. They know what they want for their life and they will incessantly, relentlessly work towards that. They're not like you, three weeks at home, suddenly you think nothing will happen, your… your priorities will change. They're not like that, their priorities don't change, they are simply on, on and on. You know, we've been telling you, nischala tattvam jivan muktihi, an unwavering sense of purpose is liberation. Well, they have an unwavering sense of purpose and they don't need liberation, they're ready to liberate you. <laughs> so this is not to be taken lightly. Unfortunately, a complex brain has not become an advantage for a whole lot of people. This is the greatest advantage we have over every other creature, that we have a complex cerebral cor uh, cortex, that we can look at things from many dimensions. Unfortunately, for a whole lot of human beings, instead of this capability, instead of bringing clarity, has brought constant muddied confusion about everything. Well, this is not a time to leave the world to individual freedoms and individual actions. It has to be curtailed according to the needs of a society. As I said, the virus has been kind of curtailed but not conquered. It may ramp up, 
next one week is a very string stringent enforcement of uh, lockdown. After that, India is looking at partial lockdowns, selective relaxation of different economic activities that are necessary for the nation. We must understand these relaxations are coming not because we have conquered the virus or it is gone, simply because our economic compulsions are such that we have to get back into some kind of action. So, an existential threat that we have to our life and the economic problems that we may face are two different dimensions. Both need to be addressed, of course, for a nation, a society, but uh, staying alive is the basic significance. Having enough to live by, living well is a secondary significance. So right now addressing the basic significance of our existence is very, very important. And uh, we'll begin, we'll forget about the old lockdown, we'll begin a new lockdown, it's New Year's Day. Press. So that don't carry the burden of past three weeks, new lockdown till third of May. Hmm? New lockdown. Old one, we gave it up, this is a new lockdown. Let's enjoy the new lockdown and make the best out of it. And let's see what best we can do for everybody around us. Our volunteers are doing a wonderful job in terms of providing food for all the migrant labor in the local areas. I think today it has touched uh, probably three thousand people uh, being served. Uh, it is going to further increase and uh, put a certain amount of financial burden on us, but uh, people around the world have been supporting us to make this happen. Once again, thanks to all of them who've been supporting us financially to do this, ha make this happen. We're also trying to, uh, in the process of getting into some activity in a similar fashion with the government of Karnataka in Bangalore region, that will also begin in a couple of days. But, as I said, the most important thing, the fundamental responsibility is that we do not provide transportation for this virus because we are the transportation. It needs us. Without us, it cannot survive. So, we just make keeping distance, we maintaining basic discipline, whatever other protocols which are there, that all of you already know by following these things. And above all, do not see it as imposed upon you. See, this is an opportunity where you can upgrade yourself. If you see it that way, another nineteen days or so till third of May will not be a burden. Having said that, as I said, due to economic compulsions, we will definitely open up to some extent by first week of May. But that may be the time, hopefully it is not, but that could be the time when virus will wait for its time and go crazy with us. So, the intent is we are willing to take economic losses, but we want to limit the loss of life, that is the attitude right now. That is a priority. Please, especially those of you who are young, who think nothing will happen to me, yes, maybe, you may just get a little sick and better, but the older generation may get wiped out. If younger people behave irresponsibly, the older generation can get totally wiped out. So please uh, behave responsibly, it's not just about you, it is about everybody else. As a generation of people, we must come out of this successfully. That's what is important about this. Please. This question is from Roop. Namaskaram Sadhguru. With your grace, I had the fortune of moving to ashram last year. From the very onset, it was clear to me that I'm here to walk the path. With this single-minded focus, I sailed through all the programs, 
and worked upon myself in the ways I knew best. Since a while, I am having the urge to distance myself from social distractions that I periodically get caught up in. I feel this will help me enhance my focus and bring more intensity and balance towards the seva and sadhana in a certain way. Perhaps I could use the support of observing few days of few hours of silence in a day. I will be grateful to receive your guidance on this. Pranam. Why are you waiting for my guidance to just shut up? That's what you're supposed to do all the time. The ashram or the yoga center is not a club. It is not a society where you come and meet different kinds of people, you're making friendships, you are uh, having your own social media stuff going. That's not the reason why you're here. This is not just for her, for every one of you. You're here, as you said, a single-minded focus towards uh, enhancement of this life. And you said, I'm doing whatever I know best, that is a big problem. I thought every aspect of how you should do your life, how you should breathe, how you should sit, how you should stand, what you should eat, what you should not eat, when, where, what, everything has been spelled out. But you're still doing your own thing. Then why am I here? Why am I here if I'm not guiding you what to do? You're doing your own thing. If you're doing your own thing, nothing wrong, it just takes a long time, that's all. What can be easily done will take unnecessarily long. But if you, I don't know what your horoscope says, if your horoscope says you have a ten thousand year lifespan, then you can do what you want. But if you're a normal human being who will live uh, eighty, ninety, hundred years of age, then you must listen to me because then the time that is available, I'm sure you're already sixty-two. No, 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 she's thirty, I think. I don't know who you are anyway. <laughs> Whatever your age, even if you're thirty-five, uh, nearly fifty percent of your eff effective life is gone. This is not a time for you to do your own thing, you must simply listen. Otherwise you will go in circles unnecessarily. So you're asking me, can I be silent for a few hours? You must be silent twenty-four hours of the day, snoring aloud. And speaking only when it is necessary for activity, otherwise we came this far away with beautiful mountains and all this space so that you could simply be. That you could simply be looking at the mountain. If mountain is not enough, I created a whole blue sky. You must engage with life. This is not a society. You're here for your individual aspiration. You're not here to build a society. Well, we have to organize food, sleeping, this, that, a little bit of infrastructure, do not misunderstand the infrastructure to be a social infrastructure. It is not. The place has been created for individual transformation and individual liberation. I never said a whole crowd will get liberated, only individuals. Because only individuals are bound and only individu individuals can become free. So, I don't see why you're asking whether I should give you permission to be silent. If you had asked me, Sadhguru, can I speak? Then I said, okay, say three words. 
Now when you ask, can I be silent, I don't know what to say. You must be silent. Unless you have something meaningful and worthwhile to say, either in terms of activity or in terms of question or in terms of a comment, otherwise you must be silent. More than being silent, the most important thing is, you must keep this compulsion that you have to communicate all the time, either like this or like this. Now at least you're a little muffled with a mask. This longing to communicate with somebody, don't think you have something fantastic to say. This longing to communicate is coming because you feel incomplete otherwise. That is exactly what we want you to address, not avoid. You do not avoid your sense of being incomplete, you confront that. Why is it? When this li life has come as a full-fledged life, why is it feeling incomplete? We have to address that, we have to confront that, not avoid it by getting distracted with conversations. All of you, Rup and Arup, everybody, no conversations, why don't you do this? Good time, lockdown time, lock. I thought we were already on a lockdown as far as this is concerned. When it's necessary for work, you say something, otherwise, your joy, your intentions, your love that you wish to express, express it. You will see that for this, you have to pay attention to every other life. Not simply say something, not simply send a message, you have to pay attention. Attention is always good. Attention without any intention is the best thing that you can do for yourself. That's what silence means. You're attentive, but you have no intent. Noise happens because you have an intent. The moment you have an intent, it will start working, plans, projections, devious calculations, everything. Simply absolute attention without any intention. This is silence. This also means you are beyond any kind of choices, what about this, what about that, no such thing in you. You are this, this and this. And this is spiritual process. When you're this and that, that is materialistic life. When you're this, this and this, this is spiritual process. I must tell you this, when we were doing the first uh, wholeness program, which was for ninety days, blessed are those people who were with us, about sixty-eight of them were with me for those ninety days. When they did not know who the hell I am, they did not know where I will take them, there was no infrastructure of any kind, they just came, men and women. Just one burning aspiration, that's all. Well, those, those days I was not even nice like this, how I am to you, I am like... Always burning, spitting fire. But they came. So I started the process and uh, I'm again and again asking, tell me yes or no, we're going to do this, yes or no? This went on, after a week, ten days, one day I came back, that was the Kaivalya Kutir, just one long hut, we went down three times in that ni in those ninety days, we had to build it back because of the heavy monsoon winds. And uh, I came and uh, there was only one blackboard, that was our main infrastructure to s put out any message. There was no f smartphones, there was no messages, the only message board was one blackboard with a chalk piece written there, anybody who wants to write something. When I came back, Sadhguru, yes and yes, they had written. I said, what is this? No Sadhguru, from now on you don't ask us yes or no, 
we are just yes and yes. I said, if you are really yes and yes, then there is a lot I can do with you. And we unleashed a whole dimension of things, which we have not been able to repeat once again. <laughs> Simply because yes or no, should I become silent? You should only seek permission, should I speak? Yes, you should never ask me, should I become silent? Sadhguru, can I speak? I have not spoken for ten years, can I speak? <laughs> ah yes, today you can sing or I will say, not talk, sing. So, uh, for you to become silent is nothing. If you are asking this question in terms of any particular sadhana, uh, when that time comes, we will tell you right now, the sadhana that is on hand, the tools that you have are still not fully utilized. If you exhaust them, you don't worry, I will call you for sure. Hmm? Yoga, yoga, yogeshwaraya Bhuta Bhuta Bhuteshwaraya Kala Kala Kaleshwaraya Shiva Shiva Sarveshwaraya Shambha Shambha Mahadev